Hi, I am Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org and today we are warming things up with friction. All you need is some coins and a carpet. Now, uh, it's better to have a low pile carpet than a high pile carpet because we tried this before filming and um, it took a while for it to get hot, okay? So, the first thing you want to do is put it against the floor. Uh, the carpet and then start rubbing it. The first law of thermodynamics states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, but energy can change from one form to another as you're going to see today. Um, what we're doing is creating friction with kinetic energy and the kinetic energy is being transformed into heat, okay? So that is what we're doing. Now, before you put the coin on the floor and start um, moving it back and forth, you put the coin against your face and it's kind of cold, huh? It's pretty cold. Now, after rubbing it for like at least 30 seconds, maybe a full minute it takes if you're doing it by heat itself, then I'm going to put it next to your face, okay? You tell me if it's hotter than that one that you just had up there. Is it hotter? <laughs> okay, and, um, and so if you do it harder, you put more pressure, or you do it faster, okay? It causes more friction, and it should get hot even faster. Oh my goodness, it's quite hot. It's hotter than when I did it. Well, that's <laughs> cold compared to it. Okay, try it with different coins to see if, um, like a penny, uh, whether it gets uh, hot faster or slower than the um, quarter. And you can just try different things and see. Okay. Now, we have an infrared camera that will show you what a quarter looks like when you start rubbing it against the carpet. Now, we are using an infrared camera and we are looking at the coins. Okay, so the coins have, a, 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 they're pretty cold. As you can see from up here, it's um, 63 or 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now we are getting the, um, this uh, quarter, okay, and I'm starting to rub it with friction. My hand obviously is super, super hot. Okay, now look at the coin. Okay. Wow. The coin's now 80 degrees. Okay, the coin is now 80 degrees. Compared to? Compared to the other ones. The other coins are in the 60s, 60 degrees, 60 something, and then the other one is super hot. See what happened? Okay, super cool. So, yeah, and we even saw the trace as you were dragging the coin across the rug. You can see where it was. Yes, so the friction against the carpet makes the carpet hot as well, see? I, I can almost sign my signature, SusanEvans.org. <laughs> First we're looking at the hand, now, low 90 degrees. Now, yes, we are looking at some hands, and now we are rubbing the hands together. Really hard. Really, really super hard, super, super, super hard. Now, well, we gained about three degrees, it is warmer. Okay. So when you are outside and you need heat, Ooh, you, you can Maybe rub six. your hands together. Rub, 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 rub. Okay. Yeah, so started out 91, 92, and now we're 96, 97. Here are my husband's hands, and he must have put an ice cube on it or something because his hands are cold with that purple. Now he is rubbing his hands together, and oh my goodness, okay, 96, 95, okay, keep going, 101, 
97 to 104, 101. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So that is, and it looks like his ring did not get hot. Look at that. Show us your ring. Ladies and gentlemen, the ring did not get hot. Look at that. It's because the friction's pushing against the pads in my hand. Now for the grand finale, we have a vacuum cleaner. This is the carpet. The temperature of the carpet before the vacuum cleaner is 77 degrees. It is the summer after all. Now I'll turn on the vacuum cleaner. Oh look, Wow! there's a trail, there's a trail of hot all the way, oh my goodness, isn't that cool ladies and gentlemen? I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org, thanks for watching.